Today, I'm gonna to be talking about one of my favorite episodes, the Easter story. If you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe and hit the like button below and share any comments you like in the comment section below. I read as many of them as I can and answer as many of them as I can. I recently watched the Easter story again. It's been quite a while since I saw it. I remembered a lot of my scenes because I was there when I filmed them, but there was a lot of these scenes that I wasn't present for the filming of, so I just wasn't as familiar with them. And after 40 plus years, they are a little vague, but I so enjoyed it and was so moved by it that I remembered again why it was always one of my favorite episodes. Some of you may have noticed that there was more than one building that was used for the church on Walton's Mountain. This one that you see here in the Easter story was in a section of the studio called Midwest Street. This also was doubled as the schoolhouse at times. The other church was on the back lot of the studio and that one didn't have as many steps going down and up into it. So if you wondered about the difference, Two different buildings. The Easter story was one of the few episodes where we actually saw real snow. Now, when we were on the back lot of the studio, that was not real snow. It was one form or another of fake snow. The sequences where you saw me and GW up in the mountains and later Ralph, John Walton and John Boy Walton running up through the snow, those were filmed up in Fraser Park and that was real snow. So during the sequence when GW and I were walking along logs and running down slopes and slipping and sliding, that was for real. And I'm sure it was a little tricky keeping our balance because our shoes would not have been designed for that kind of snow. Okay, a little spoiler alert. If you don't wanna see some movie magic, then you might wanna skip through this little section. You'll see here, as the front door is opened, that there in that corner, you see trees outside. Well, when you saw the outside of the house at this point, there were no trees with leaves on them. They had actually stripped all the leaves from the trees so that it looked more like winter. So in this section right here, we were actually on the soundstage and through that door, they would bring in fake trees or real trees that were movable in, in containers and then there would be a backdrop that was angled so that what you could see outside looked like the front yard. But here you see trees and outside you did not see trees with leaves. An additional humorous little story about Will Gear is that he liked to hum and sing at times. In the Easter story, there were times when he was humming and singing specific songs. So those were probably in the script, but sometimes he would hum songs that just as an ad lib, and one of our production assistants was tasked with the job of any time he heard Will singing to determine whether what he was singing was in the public domain or not. Because if it wasn't, then they would have to track down what the song was and arrange for licensing. So that was quite a challenge with the amount of humming that Will liked to do. <laughs> in the Easter story, there were some other wonderful examples of the teasing sort of banter that existed between the characters of John Boy and Mary Ellen. They had a real brother-sister relationship there. And although they teased each other and picked on each other, when Mary Ellen needed real advice, John Boy was always there to give her some really good big brother advice. I love that about the relationship. One of my favorite parts personally about the Easter story was the storyline with Mary Ellen and GW about the dance at school and how Mama insisted that Mary Ellen go and that John Boy teach her to dance. And then she in turn teaches GW how to dance so that they can go. And I love the line when she's in the bedroom and she's afraid that the other children are gonna laugh at her while John Boy's trying to teach her. And she says, well, if they snigger at me, I'll slug them. <laughs> Typical Mary Ellen. And then of course, when she's trying to teach GW and she's like, you know, threatening to wham him if he doesn't, you know, take her in his arm so that she can teach him how to dance. We looked pretty awkward, but in real life, I actually had quite a few years of dance training as a child. So uh, 
I had to sort of pretend to be a little less coordinated than I was, but that's acting. <laughs> One of the things I really loved about this episode was the relationship of our mama and her relationship with all of her children. And as she expressed her dreams and her goals for each one of us, there are so many powerful scenes in the Easter story, many of them between Michael and Ralph, when Olivia is struggling with keeping her belief that she will walk again, and Ralph's heartbreak over the possibility that he can't do anything to help her and it's out of his hands. And then between John Boy and Grandma, when they argue over what's the next step and is it time for Olivia to give up. And then especially the scene between Ralph and Richard up on the mountain when John Boy is not prepared to give up on Mama walking again. Strong actors doing incredibly strong scenes that were so beautifully written by John McGreevy based on a story by Earl Hamner. And of course, topped off by the amazing climactic scene when Olivia hears Elizabeth in her sleep and gets up to go to her. And the joy for all of us when our mother finally was able to walk again and we knew that life would once more be normal. I hope you've enjoyed this behind the scenes of the Easter story, one of my favorite episodes. If you haven't seen it for a while, dig it up. It's worth watching again. If you're enjoying these videos, please do subscribe and hit the like button. And I will be back again with more behind the scenes of the Waltons.